there we move back into I guess the the third round I guess I guess somewhat early third right I think that's early third and uh, we get Tank Dell you know a guy that you know I know uh, I know Bab really likes you know being a U of H grad um, a guy that's just uh, a, a, like a jitterbug on the field like just a you know just like very twitchy you know very quick um, very just like it seems like you know. If you can't, if you can't, don't really just like mug him at the line. It, it might get really bad for you very fast. And you know, I think that we traded up to to uh, pick number sixty nine with the Rams to go get him, five foot eight, one hundred sixty five pound Tank Dell, bro. So, what do you think about that pick? Well, I obviously love it because I love Tank Dell. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I'm saying. Watched every U of H game last year. Extremely disappointing season, but you know we thought. Clayton Toon was going to be him. We thought Tank Dell was going to be him and, like, just just carry everything. We had a couple good running prospect, uh, running back prospects. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we really – it really felt like that that team could be great, you know. But when Derek Parrish went down, it was kind of like, oh, my God, like, okay, season's over. You know, I mean, cause, I mean he, he was just a superior athlete. but uh, And he actually ended up getting drafted to the Colts or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Like, or the Jags, somebody, somebody that it, it's just super unfortunate that he went there. Anyways, uh, 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 but yeah. So for Tank Dell, um, honestly, man, Tank Dell is the reason why in the pre-draft process I made the argument that the distance between the top receiver, which is JSN, mm-hmm. and third round receivers was as close as it could be yeah. with other any other group mm-hmm. right it's just so close and the in my main comparison was like tank dell like yeah. tank dell third round mm-hmm. you basically i would say outside of the measurables tank dell is just as good as jordan addison mm-hmm. addison is an elite route runner right very good I- incredible route runner mm-hmm. tank it's open immediately, right? Like, Dell is one of those people that as soon as you don't press him, you have already made the mistake. Oh, yeah. You know, right? One of my favorite highlights that's being shared of Tank Dell right now is he has this insane release package, right? He has a bunch of different releases that are just crazy, right? He prides himself on it. So he shakes the corner at the line of scrimmage and takes him up field, but it's a run play. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. The corner just like, oh, what the fuck? Like, what just happened? You know what I'm saying? Right? Mm-hmm. And he looks over at the sideline and he blows the coach a kiss. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. The mm-hmm. next play, he does the same release on a quick slant. Mm-hmm. He, which is, mm-hmm. he leaves the corner in the in the dirt, right? Mm-hmm. Ball. Uh, breaks a tackle, spins out of another one, and barely gets shoestring tackle before scoring a touchdown. Oh, yeah. And it's like having that type of confidence mm-hmm. and that type of swagger out on the field is extremely dangerous. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like you're talking to, like, you want to compare Zay Flowers to Steve Smith? Tank Dell may be closer to Steve Smith in personality. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Super. Like, Man, I I personally now that we've drafted him, it might be a disservice to Tank Dell to not have him on the field every offensive offensive snap. Like he's gonna be hell to to cover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think, man, like you know, it's interesting you brought up Steve Smith because Steve Smith was saying, I think when he entered the league, like he was like under 170, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, pe- a lot of people were talking up, you know, Zay Flowers, but. In reality, Zay Flowers played only about five or ten, less than ten pounds heavier than Tank. And yeah. I think, man, like, you know, if weight is the issue with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing to gain five to ten pounds, you know, like, without it really harming you. And um, mm-hmm. when I look back at his film, I mean, like, I think I was kind of just um, a little bit just, you know, disenchanted with his frame, I guess. But, like, man, I mean, when you sit back and watch it, you know, now that he's on your team, especially, you know, and you, and you take away all, I guess, which is hilarious, I'm going to say this, you take away all the biases that you have preconceived and you see why, you know what I'm saying, your team selected him. You know what I mean? You see a guy that has, like, really freakish ability, man. 
you know, freakish ability to get open. And uh, I think that he can be like a real, real, you know, I mean, just when I think about what we had on the field last year, I, it's no doubt in my mind that he could be way better than that shit. So, you know, you pair that with him and Mechie, I mean, bro, I mean, we have two guys that can get open. I mean, what the hell, man? You know, we had to watch Chris Moore last year, you know, and yeah. that shit. Yeah, so I'm just – 